Lance trailer. It's a 2020. And in the shower, I just pulled this off and I thought I better make a video on this because some people might want to do the same thing. So this was actually installed here. There's four screws holding in place. I used a plastic putty knife to break the seal to pull this off. I'm going to clean up the area here really good. And what I did was I put new butyl tape on the back here. I'll show you what I used in a minute. And what happens is the hose comes out of the top and then it goes up here. And it's all in your way when you're taking a shower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over like this. So the hose will be in the bottom here and it'll be easy to do. So what I did, let me show you here. There's only two uh, nuts here with the hoses coming off that screw onto these right here. So I just pulled this away, unscrewed them by hand, and then I flipped this thing over. I took it and cleaned it all up, took the old uh, butyl tape off, and I'm gonna flip it and have it this way. So I'm gonna put this back together, and then I'm gonna screw these on these nuts on here, the pipes on the pipe threads here, and then we'll be uh, nice and tight. I'll show you what it looks like after I have it back on. But first I'm gonna take you over to the butyl tape I used. So here's the butyl tape I used. Um, here's what I removed, it's all gray. And it was actually uh, oozing out of the sides here. So I'm gonna make sure it doesn't ooze out of the sides when I install this, or I'm gonna, um, if it does ooze out of the sides and I'm gonna peel it off, it'll come off easily. It's like a, it's like a putty tape. It comes like this. Uh, I picked this one because it's good quality and then it's also white. So if it does come out, it won't show up like the brown one did. So let's go back in and I'm gonna hook the hoses up to here. So see what happens. So I got this back together. All this area is cleaned up. And since, um, this valve got turned over. It was the other way. I turned it this way. I had to switch these. So before this one was over here and this one was over here. So what I did is I switched them so that it'll, the valve will work the same. So when I turn it one way, um, the same way as it was turning before, I'll still have the hot and cold water going on the same way. So I also did a pressure test on this. I turned the water on, um, hooked it up to the trailer, and um, ran water in here, put pressure on it to make sure there's no leaks because I'm gonna be putting this back on and uh, I don't want any leaks behind the wall. So it's good to pressure test before you reinstall something, especially when it's hidden in the wall. I've got everything back together. Um, I used a hose that I had uh, laying around from another project. And so uh, I'm probably going to change to another hose that is more of a, a nickel plated hose that's flexible. But um, I wanted a short one rather than a long hose. So it turned out pretty well. Let me come in close here so you can see. So that putty worked out real well behind there. It, it did come out a little bit in the screw holes, but uh, not bad. I cleaned it up. So now... Um, it operates like that. Works really nice. So as you can see now, it loops around and it's not coming out at the top and, you know, catching on me or anything when I'm taking a shower. So I hope this video helps you guys um, in some way. This is the Oxygenics shower head, which seems to work pretty good. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like it, um, I make a video as often as I can. Um, hit the subscribe tab and the um, all button and you'll be notified of future videos I make. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to comment. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask me and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And also in the comments, it's nice to read the comments in YouTube videos because you can see what other people say they've done or what works and what doesn't. So feel free to um, leave me comments. Thanks, everybody. Hope to talk to you later and happy camping.